In a world that often emphasizes self-ownership and individual rights, the truth that we are not our own can be both challenging and liberating. Understanding that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit fundamentally changes how we view ourselves and our actions. Today, we will explore what it means to be bought with a price and how this truth influences our daily lives. Well, hello, my name is James Long, Jr. I'm a pastor, counselor, and university professor. Welcome to Lessons for Life, where I help people whose pain from their past or their present is influencing their perspective on life through teaching them about a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, principles and promises from God's word, and giving them a pathway for change. My goal is to guide you towards peace, hope, and joy. In today's lesson, we will be exploring how God's truth can transform your life and how to experience the joy of forgiveness and freedom found in Christ alone. Well, here's the passage of scripture that we will be looking at today, found in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20. It says this, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you have been brought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Here's the devotional thought. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20, Paul reminds believers of a profound spiritual truth. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, and we are not our own. The concept of being bought with a price originates from the marketplace, where slaves were purchased. In this context, the price paid for our redemption is the precious blood of Christ. This imagery illustrates the high cost of our salvation and underscores the immense value God places on each one of us. As temples of the Holy Spirit, we have a responsibility to steward our bodies in a manner that glorifies God. This means engaging in activities that honor Him and abstaining from behaviors that dishonor his dwelling, his dwelling place. Paul's exhortation serves as a reminder that our physical actions have spiritual significance. Moreover, being bought with a price invites us into a new identity in Christ. It signifies that we are part of God's family, purchased for a purpose, to live in a way that reflects his glory. This new identity empowers us to resist temptation as we recognize that our lives are not solely for our gratification, but are intended to bring honor to God. The reminder that we are not our own also calls us to consider how we interact with others. Just as we are to treat our bodies with respect, we must also respect and value others, understanding that they too are created in God's image. Bringing it home, here are three ways that we can apply this truth to our lives. Number one, honor your body. Consider ways that you can physically honor God with your body. This could include making healthier lifestyle choices, engaging in exercise, or practicing care of your body that reflects gratitude for the gift of life. Number two, reflect on your actions. Before making decisions, ask yourself how your choices reflect your identity as a temple of the Holy Spirit. Are you engaging in activities that glorify God? Or are there areas where you need to make changes? Number three, serve others. Recognize that others are created in God's image. Make an effort to treat those around you with respect and kindness, demonstrating the love of Christ in all your interactions. Well, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this incredible gift of salvation through your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Help me to remember that I am bought with a price and that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. May my actions reflect your glory and may I honor you in all that I do. Teach me to treat myself and others with respect and love that stems from this truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you found this lesson helpful, I encourage you to explore more resources and support on my website, jameslongjr.org. That's jameslongjr.org. There you can also join our Lessons for Life monthly membership or our online group coaching program, where you will find powerful coaching videos, a supportive community, and step-by-step -step guidance for lasting transformation. Remember, true change is possible when you walk in God's grace and for His glory. Until next time, may you find peace, hope, and joy in Christ alone. Blessings.